The National with Milton Nash. Good evening and welcome to rainy Vancouver and Expo 86. The province they call Supernatural is ready. They've been drilling, painting, cleaning and checking all week. I think everyone's uh, relatively calm. There's everything here from the world's biggest flagpole to the world's biggest hockey stick and the world's biggest hockey puck. You never know what you'll see next and you never know who you're going to meet next. There's the mascot of the fair, Expo Ernie. With a bless my little robotic heart, Snowton Nash and the crew from the National. How do you do? Glad to have you here. Expo is a fair about transportation, so this state-of-the-art monorail was a natural. For the first two months, it kept breaking down, but now it's carrying capacity crowds. The sun shone for the first time in weeks in Vancouver today, and with the sun, Expo 86 came alive. Thousands and thousands and thousands of people got to see the fair for the first time. Being Saturday, it was a big day for the children. And for children, what counts at a fair is the fun. There was no shortage of that. Just great. It's bringing the whole country together, too. $5,000 is spent every night by Expo for a computerized laser and fireworks show. It's called International Nights of Fire. We've never seen fireworks like that before. Oh, that was awesome. At 86th Street, they party with the Powder Blues Band, and they obey the rules to eat, drink, and go crazy. When they first opened, these nightclubs had so many customers, things sometimes got out of hand. So extra doormen were hired, proper dress is now required. The people who don't like dress codes still have a place to go, though. At the Irish pub, there doesn't seem to be any code at all. Expo has done itself proud. That was great. They did well. I enjoyed myself like no other time. It's the best thing that ever happened to British Columbia and to me. I love it. I've had a great time here. When we said... When we said...